bought my first saw that year and went to work that summer tree thinning and it was super hot i mean it had to be 90 100 degrees and i was down in this draw while it was really humid and i was just sweating to be heck so i took my shaps off because they were full shaps clear to my boots and got careless at the end of the day and i went and i rested the saw on my leg well of course i was running a little 36 or 36 pro was my first saw well it don't got big dogs or anything well it hit a lamb come back and just barely caught my pants it didn't even touch the skin and uh, of course at the end of the day I walk up throw my shaps on my dad see me take my shaps off he looks at me he goes you took your shaps off didn't you <laughs> I said yeah and uh, that's the only incident I've never knock on wood never once hit my boots I've never once hit my pants other than that uh, one one occasion but just be safe when you're running a saw, you know, no, no, if you're, if you don't feel comfortable to cut without shaps, hard hat, that's your business. I ain't going to tell anyone else what to do. Um, you know, do what you feel is comfortable. Anyway, we'll fire up the 550 and check it out. I finally got in a section. I was going to do it up there, but there was a lot of knots and, you know, it's not really fair when you get in knots. So. I'm in a section to where I can cut in between knots, so we'll try it out. You guys, do me a favor, drop a comment. These two saws were sent to the channel. One, this 550 was sent by William Green. He sent it for the kids. And they ran it, you know, they, they're in school and stuff right now, so they're not out with me. But they've all ran this saw. It's a great little saw for kids, lightweight. I run, it, I believe it's a 24 inch uh, Canon Super Bar, so it's kind of heavy. Um, helps reduce kickback and stuff like that. That was also sent by William. Thank you very much, William. And drop a comment and thank Gil and Jane for the 395, please. between the two saws um, obviously you got a heavier power head heavier bar 
I, I am running a full comp chain on this that's got skip tooth, full skip. Um, both fi rakers filed down to 25 thousandths. But, uh, you know, it's obviously everyone knows you're going to get more power, more chain speed out of a bigger saw. But it is kind of fun to see what the difference is in between a little saw and a big saw. This gentleman was wondering, you know, should he buy a big saw? What's the difference? You know, if it's going to make a big difference for him, um, bumping up, I think he has a 555 if I remember right. Um, but yeah, anyway, you guys, I'll try and do the timer on it and see, you know, what the difference is. But anyhow, I'm going to keep cutting with the 395 and then I'll bring you guys back when I'm doing some splitting and loading. That's another thing too. Everyone always sees me fall a tree, drag it out, start bucking it, but you don't get much splitting. You don't get much loading, if any loading. Um, just because of phone storage, I'd love to video the whole thing, chop it down, and show all the pieces to the puzzle. So, anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. Sorry it's been a while since we've been getting out videos, but that's life, you know. Everyone's got their things to do. Um, most of you know I went back to construction. Um, I wouldn't have went back if it wasn't for um, working for a good person. Uh, I've known my boss pretty much, you know, since I was a kid. Um, he's two years older than me. I know his little brother real well. That's my age. Him and I are really close friends. But uh, then his oldest brother and I are really close. Uh, his oldest brother is Peach, um, the one I go trapping with. But, uh, yeah, it's been great, you know, working for someone who respects you and uh, respects your work. Um Never once does he ever question me, and even if he did, you know, it wouldn't be, you know, don't question me, I know more than you, you know, that's just, he's just doing his job, but, uh, you know, it, it's a great work environment, I go to work, I've never had, never once had a bad day working for my buddy Cody, and, um, yeah, just as long as you're getting work done, he don't care, you know, he's, you know and there's been a few incidences that, the crew's messed up on a few things and he's not like any other boss that you know blows his stack and tries to get mad but um he always what how how can we fix it how can we make up for it and that's what really makes a good leader and definitely glad to be back working construction for someone i enjoy working for so. although i do miss cutting firewood <laughs> it's nice out here until it gets super hot you know i'd rather cut in the fall through the winter and spring and uh go sit on the beach during the summer but got bills to pay